Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss the following question which says that Calculate Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation for the following series where x series is given by 52, 58, 55, 50, 47, 35, 63, 45, 44 and 70 and the y series is given by 48, 62, 52, 49, 55, 56, 64, 49, 52 and 68 when the deviation is taken from an assumed mean Then Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation denoted by rho of xy is given by summation uv minus summation of u into summation of v by n whole upon square root of summation u square minus summation u the whole square by n into square root of summation v square minus summation v the whole square by n where u is equal to x minus a or x minus a by h and v is equal to y minus b or y minus b by h where A and B are the assumed means and N is the number of pairs of observation This formula is used when actual means are fractions with this key idea, we shall proceed with the solution. We are given the following data. Here, summation of x, that is, sum of all the values of x is given by 519 and summation of y, that is, sum of all the values in y is given by 555. Also, n that is the number of pairs of observation is 10 and we know that A and B are the assumed means A is given by summation of X by N that is 519 by 10 which is equal to 51.9 and B is given by summation of Y by N that is 555 by 10 which is equal to 55.5 since A and B are in fractions therefore we take assumed mean for X series as 52 and for Y series as 55 and we know that U is given by X minus A and V is given by Y minus B U is equal to X minus A and A is equal to 52 so we have 52 minus 52 that is 0 58 minus 52 is 6 55 minus 52 is 3 50 minus 52 is minus 2 47 minus 52 is minus 5 35 minus 52 is minus 17 63 minus 52 is 11 45 minus 52 is minus 7 44 minus 52 is minus 8 70 minus 52 is 18 and V is given by Y minus B and B is equal to 55 so we have 
48 minus 55 that is minus 7 62 minus 55 is 7 52 minus 55 is minus 3 49 minus 55 is minus 6 55 minus 55 is 0 56 minus 55 is 1 64 minus 55 is 9 49 minus 55 is minus 6 52 minus 55 is minus 3 68 minus 55 is 13 now we shall find out u square, v square and uv. u square is given by 0 square that is 0, 6 square is 36, 3 square is 9, minus 2 square is 4, minus 5 square is 25, minus 17 square is 289, 11 square is 121, minus 7 square is 49, minus 8 square is 64, 18 square is 324, v square is given by minus 7 square that is 49, 7 square is 49, minus 3 square is 9, minus 6 square is 36, 0 square is 0, 1 square is 1, 9 square is 81, minus 6 square is 36, minus 3 square is 9, 13 square is 169. u into v is given by 0 into minus 7 that is 0, 6 into 7 that is 42, 3 into minus 3 is minus 9, minus 2 into minus 6 is 12, minus 5 into 0 is 0, minus 17 into 1 is minus 17, 11 into 9 is 99, minus 7 into minus 6 is 42, minus 8 into minus 3 is 24, 18 into 13 is 234. Now, summation of u, that is, sum of all the values in u is given by minus 1, and summation of v, that is, sum of all the values in v is given by 5. Summation u square, that is, sum of all the values in u square is given by 921. Summation v square, that is, sum of all the values in v square is given by 439. Summation u v, that is, sum of all the values in u into v that is 427. Now we know that when deviation is taken from an assumed mean, then Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation denoted by rho of xy is given by summation uv minus summation u into summation v by n whole upon square root of summation u square minus summation u the whole square by n into square root of summation v square minus summation v the whole square by n. So we have Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation rho of xy is equal to summation uv that is 427 minus summation u into summation v that is minus 1 into 5 by n that is 10 whole upon square root of summation u square that is 921 minus summation u the whole square by n that is minus 1 square by 10 into square root of summation v square that is 439 minus summation v the whole square by n that is 5 square by 10 which is equal to 427 plus 0.5 whole upon square root of 921 minus 0.1 into square root of 439 minus 2.5 which is equal to 427.5 upon square root of 920.9 into 436.5 which is equal to 427.5 upon square root of 401,972.85 which is equal to 427.5 upon 634.01 which is equal to 0 0.674. Hence, 
Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation is given by 0 0.674 which is the required answer. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session. Hence, Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation is given by 0 0.673 which is the required answer. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.